Alright guys, uh, right away to my second video, just because um, I should probably do it before my alliance kills the raid boss. Um, here's a, just a quick tip on how to do the most damage on your team raids. Like I've mentioned before, team compositions are the best. If you have any questions about what you think is going to be the best, um, let me know. Um, I've noticed that a more attack damage oriented uh, team does damage uh, higher damage to a uh, boss than a magic team and I don't know if the game prefers attack damage over ability um, ability power but here's just a quick example your composition always wants to ha uh, you always want to have some sort of a, a healer or maybe a support on your team because you do have to heal throughout the fights or you're going to die um, and it's never fun so this is my standard composition um, I usually get a, a good amount of damage done with this team comp right here so we'll do this uh, team fight and I haven't had any issues we shouldn't have any new ones we'll just see how much damage we do these are boring and you can automatically it makes no difference if you have it on auto two times if you want to watch nice and slow you can but um we'll just let it play out for the minute long time that it has as you notice, it's, uh, he does a good amount of uh, damage, but Murphy has a pretty reliable heal that bounces around and uh, tops everybody off. Um, I usually don't have a problem. There you go again, people getting low, Murphy doing her job and just healing people left and right. Um, I, for the first time, oh, nope, there we go again, picked up. Um, these are nice because the characters constantly get their ultimates up and it's uh, they get constant buffs. Um, We'll see what the damage was. The damage was 86, mm, 8,600. Well, 860,000, I guess, would be the proper term. And with the damage rank, one time damage rank, um, that is the highest. Um, it's it's really just a matter of the team compositions. If you guys want to see, I will use my second attack using a more magic based um, team composition. I'll use my Muse as she is a breakout level. She's got a lot of power. As a tank, I'm probably going to use Gerber. He can self sustain, so I'm going to use Karas. Um, and uh, whatever this girl's name is, I forget what her name is, has a, a, a reliable amount of damage. And Karna is. Because, um, you know, it's, it's a mage team. You want to be able to make sure that they last long enough to fight. And with this, my uh, team power is 68. Hundred, and we'll see how it goes. Mind you that these uh, characters are all pretty. Um, they do have the proper runes equipped, and they are all maxed out in skills. Um, we'll just see which one does more damage. I have yet to see that much of a difference um, between the bosses and what kind of composition I choose. But there, you know, after after this fight's done, we can deduce if. Certain uh, certain t raid bosses uh, dodge physical attacks more, and um, you know uh, take less magic damage or one or the other. I know Uther has a uh, a uh, anti physical damage, but it doesn't last that long, even if it's a, a boss. All right, so we'll look at this damage with a mostly magic team. If you can see, the amount of damage output was half of my physical team physical team and with that I am no longer well you know what it doesn't matter cuz I'm still one time damage rank top king total damage rank yeah unfortunately I'll have to take second place because I wanted to show you guys a difference between the magic teams and the uh, physical teams as you can tell neither of the teams died but the physical teams just output so much more damage and this has been true for a uh, long time my alliance is on a uh, level 32 team raid and um, I haven't changed up my uh, my team composition that much so physical is the way to go if you can as long as you have um, you know all I, I believe her name is R.I. but this is never a bad champion to have as well as a support um, 
all right yeah she's she if you don't have a murphy all right is always decent and i know everybody has all right so you should be all right um but you always want to heal you always want to heal or else your you know your characters die off and that's just a bunch of damage that you're missing out on and that's just my quick video about raid bosses or whatever whatever you want to call them what are they called team raid i guess raid bosses would be make more sense so i hope you enjoyed that video and uh you guys are awesome take care